Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're headed to Target because Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand has come out with their spring collection. And I don't know about you guys, but I need some spring right now. It is so cold in Florida and us Florida people, we're not used to this. So let's head to Target and fill our souls with a little bit of spring. Maybe it'll warm our hearts at the same time. Um, and if I see anything Valentine, I'll share that too. And then last, I am working on some printable garlands for the Etsy shop for Valentine's Day. So I'll show you all of those. Um, and then later, I will be sharing the DIYs on how to make those in shorts, YouTube shorts. So let's head to the store. So, I don't know about you guys, but I thought that the 
hearth and hand area was so well organized this time. I loved it. Um, I didn't get anything. Um, there's nothing I feel like I need to do my spring decorating this year, but I did see a cute pillow. Um, and how cute is this? I mean, if you love gingham, this has your name written on it. That is so cute. I don't do a lot of red decorating for Valentine's, so we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it looks. Um, I also picked up candy. <laughs> I picked up these and I picked up these um, Valentine Pops because I have an idea with one of our printables that I think would be so cute. I think if it would be cute to send to school um, with your kids or if you're a mom or grandma, it would be a fun little Valentine treat on Valentine's Day. So let's head home and I will show you the garlands I've been creating and we'll work on these ideas with the candy. Okay, so I'm back home and I thought I would show you the garlands that I have on my hutch. Before I show you these, you might be asking, am I gonna use all these? As I'm making ideas and putting on them on Etsy, I will style them and I may or may not use them because I can't use everything in my home with my final product, final design. <laughs> so I am saying this because my goal next week is to have all my Valentine decoration done, and then I'm gonna give y'all a tour. So what you see today might not necessarily be what you see next week, but here are two I've already created. I created a letter and garland pennant banner that comes in letters, numbers, symbols, all kinds of stuff. So you can write whatever you want. You print each one, You'll print it out, you cut it out, the directions on how to do it are in there. Now, I added these bows on here because bows are so popular right now. I don't know what happened, but at Christmas time, people started putting bows on their Christmas trees and it has taken off. So bows are the thing of the year this year. Um, so next is this beautiful three-dimensional book page, watercolor, rose, garland. And I have all the directions on how to make it too. So it comes with three different hearts. It comes with a book page heart. It comes with a book page heart with a, a rose bouquet on it. And then it comes with a plain white background heart with a rose bouquet on it. So you have so much versatility with this garland, just like you do with the pennant garland. Um, you can just use the book pages and string those. You could just do the bouquet on the white background and string those. You could string them flat, straight across. You can make a three-dimensional heart like this. There's so much you can do. You can also hang this straight up and down like I have here in my kitchen sitting room. So let's head into the living room where my bookcase is because I have a vintage one to show you in there. Okay, so in here on my bookcase, I took our Valentine tags, or we also call them Valentine cards. They're little tags. And I converted them into a garland and I added that to the listing. So how did I get these cute little corner cutouts? I used a special pair of scissors just to snip that pretty little fancy design in the corner. And then all I did was string them on the back here. I'll show you here. I just cut a piece of paper and put it like that on the back. And all the directions are in there so you can check it out. But look how cute. If you love vintage and Victorian, this is the perfect garland for you. Next are these adorable cookie bag toppers that we created for Valentine's Day this year. Look how cute. So to keep the ribbon theme that we seem to be going with this year, uh, we have one that says, Happy Valentine's Day, and one that says, Would You Be Mine? Um, it comes on the front and the back. 
So when you apply it to the paper, it'll you can flip it either way. Okay, so aren't these so cute? Um, fun things you can put in these bags. You can put anything. It doesn't have to be cookies. Uh, you can put candy. You can put a donut for breakfast on Valentine's morning for your loved ones. There's so many possibilities. And we, we've made these cookie bag toppers before. Um, we did it for fall and Halloween, and they turned out so cute that we decided we wanted to do it again this year for Valentine's Day. And I have another idea for another one that I'm thinking of trying. So keep your fingers crossed that I'll get that done by next week and I can show you that one. So also keep your fingers crossed that I have the Valentine's home tour next week. That's my goal. My goal is to finish up everything as far as my decorating and share it on the video next week. So if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on the Valentine's Home Tour next week. Uh, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, and I will see you soon. Bye!